everyone, it's Jeff. And Brittany. From Our Paradise Falls, and we have a mail call for you guys today. We have a giant box from Funko of the Funko SummerCon exclusive pops. Look at this giant box. I'm so ready to dive in here. And Brittany, what do you have? I also have a surprise for mail call. I have a new lounge fly. And where did you get your lounge fly from? It's from Box Lunch, but it is also a part of the summer con. So I hope you guys are ready for this unboxing. <laughs> What Funko did this year is they have three conventions a year. They have a spring, a summer, and a fall convention. My email luckily got picked for their summer convention exclusives. So what they did was they emailed me and told me that I had a 30 minute window to choose what exclusives I wanted from their Funko Con. And Brittany, how were you able to get your lounge fly? I was actually patiently, well, impatiently waiting. So I was able to log on to Box Lunch and I was able to get on at 12 o'clock on the dot. And originally they didn't load it right away. So I had to wait and it was like 12.05 and I was able to order this amazing lounge fly that I'm super excited to show. Brittany doesn't get anxiety when she's ordering like stuff online. I always get anxiety when I'm trying to order my Funko Pops. Once we get into the box, we'll show you which ones that I wasn't able to get. But Brittany, how was your anxiety that day trying to order this lounge fly. Jeff usually orders my lounge flies for me because he's just so much better with just ordering everything and just being like, here you go. So this time when I actually had to wait for it, I was so anxious because I was afraid one, I wasn't going to get on in time because I was working. Two, I wasn't going to get it at all because it was going to be sold out. But luckily I was able to get it. So this box is massive. We can't put it on the table. There's just so much. So I was able to open up one box and we have two, four, six pops just in one box. We have one that's individually in a sorter. We have another one that's individually in a sorter. And then I have my Funko soda and Brittany has no idea what this is, but she's going to be surprised. And I hope it's something really good in here. Still have two more boxes in of the here. the same size. <laughs> so we're gonna go with this box first, so let's see what's inside. All right, so you do, do you wanna do the honors or do you want me to do the no, honors? No, you do the honors okay. because... Well, everything's upside down in this box except for one, and we're hoping that a lot of our pops are gonna come with the con sticker and not the shared sticker. Fingers crossed. My first pop out of the box and I'm actually super happy. And of course, it's a Captain America one. Of course, I would pick Captain America first. I believe this one is the shared exclusive sticker. This is not the con sticker. I wanted a con, but it's okay. So we have Cap Wolf. And for those of you who don't know who Cap Wolf is, he's an, actually a variant of Captain America. If you guys have watched the uh, Disney Plus show Loki, obviously there's a bunch of different Lokis out there. Well, there's a bunch of different Captain Americas out there. And what? Cap Wolf is one of them. What? Captain America is my favorite Marvel hero. As soon as I saw this, a wolf and Cap, yeah, that's my pop. So I'm very happy and fortunate to pick up this guy. Oh, oh good yay! job. Nice pull. Nice pull, Brittany. All right. So this is also a shared sticker. Womp, womp, womp. But it's an awesome pop. I love it so much. It is the Three Musketeers Mickey Mouse. How adorable. Look at his little hat, his little sword. Oh, super cute. I made a huge <laughs> mistake. So I'm going through these stickers and I said, wait a minute, is that the con sticker or a shared exclusive sticker? I was wrong. I have all con stickers. Every single one is a con sticker. So our next pop is from the Star Wars Rebel Show and it's an Imperial Super Commando. So I was really happy to get this guy. This one is an Alice in Wonderland pop. And it actually, it's kind of like a BOGO. You get one, buy one, get one, because there's two. So we have the Walrus and the Carpenter. You guys see a common theme with our pops here, but it's Disney <laughs> and Marvel and Star Wars, which is all part of Disney. So a lot of our stuff is Disney related. Unfortunately, with our box here, the Walrus, he does have a little bit of a ding up there at the top of the box. And he also has a cut there on the back, so, um, that's Funko, kind of that's a little yeah. unfortunate, Funko, come on with oh, your boxing. But it's okay. Uh, this is actually cool, and we've been on a Alice in Wonderland kick lately with our pops. I mean, we just scored the Blacklight, um, Set. Funko Shop exclusives, which was awesome. And yeah, I mean, Alice in Wonderland isn't one of our favorite movies, but they make amazing pops, so keep making them and we'll keep collecting them. So the next one we got is... Blade, and this one is awesome. It is the Wesley Snipes Blade. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie, but I highly recommend it. It's a pretty awesome movie for its time. I have never seen that movie. 
I guess we're gonna be watching it pretty soon. I heard this pop was really hard to get. This was exclusive to Walgreens and Walgreens is not very good with their pops. We are on to the last one in the first box and this one has some weight to it. I'm really glad that I get to show this one. I'm, I'm super excited. We have the wardrobe from The Beauty and the Beast and she is gorgeous. Look at that. Back to Max. Weren't you the wardrobe one time, Beauty and the Beast show at uh, Magic Kingdom? I think, Brittany, yeah, you were the war wardrobe one yes, time in the show. I was. So it's kind of fitting. We got the wardrobe pop and you were the wardrobe in the show. How one of her doors is actually open and the other is not. You want to take it out to show everybody? You're going to let me take a pop out of the box? We'll what? Be very, I'll be very careful. <laughs> Do you see why I open my pops with a knife mm. now? Isn't it? It's a lot easier to see. Making me nervous. She is heavy. I keep saying it, but she really is. Look at that. I actually do like the detail on it a lot. Yeah. They did a, they did mean, a great did job with the Did you see that they have Belle's coat over here as well? Can you do an impression I, I, of I was voice. just about to say I should sing an upper hole. <laughs> this one's got some weight to it too, so I have a funny feeling I know what this one is, so I'm pretty excited. So we're gonna open this one next. Home protection around it. What do you guys think it is? I know what it is. What do you think it is? I don't, I don't have a clue. What we have from you is another Captain America pop. It is from Civil War and it's Captain America diecast. So what's a die? I don't understand. What's die a diecast? Die he's metal. Oh. Yeah, he's a metal pop. This is the shared sticker that I was talking about. But Captain America was supposed to be a Funko web only, so it's weird that he came with a shared sticker. So let's go ahead and pop him open. So I don't know if this was supposed to happen, but it looks like Captain America fell off his base in shipping. I don't know if that was supposed to come like that. There you go. That's him on his base. And boy, does he have some weight to him. Wow. <laughs> no bobble. Yeah, no bobble. I have to say for the details, and we'll show you guys right now, on a die cast pop, I mean, they really, it really, no pun intended, it pops. <laughs> uh -huh. There's the back. You know what would be really cool that I want to do? I really this? like that the, the case is clear. Yes. Like, the, you know what I mean? Yes. It's pretty cool. I want to put some LEDs inside of this. That'd be cool. Some blue LEDs or something. That'd make be really them, cool. Make them shine. Pop! Make them pop! Make them shine, <laughs> dang! Lounge fly time! Yay! So Jeff tried to get the Evil Queen bag with the Snow White Pop, but he didn't get it. It sold out in his cart. Yes, so I that was, was able... the second one to sell out in my cart, and the first one was Galactus. He sold out first. But the one that I was able to get was Pascal! Look how cute this little green chameleon is in the little purple dress. The detail is crazy. So there is actually lace, real lace on the side of the bag, flowers on the side. There's the Disney lounge line. For those people who don't know, because I haven't seen the full thing of Tangled, the full movie. Shame on you. <laughs> what happened? Why is Pascal in a dress? And what's going on in this scene here? Well, this is when she's in her castle and she's singing, When Will My Life Begin? And she puts him in the dress that she sewed. And on the back, It says, friends never get in your hair. So on the inside of the bag, it is pink and it has the Tangled Castle and it looks like one of the little boats that she is on with Flint. Inside the front pouch is some foam. That's foam. <laughs> we love foam. And it is purple just like the bag and then it has the same print. The cool thing I like with this bag is that sticker. <laughs> Maybe I will be taking that one to the park. Enough with the on flies. Let's get back to the important stuff. Box is a little warped here in the back. Not horribly bad, but just a little bit. Come on, Funko. We have Black Noir from The Boys. Um, I'm a huge The Boys fan. Brittany is a semi The Boys fan. She likes it. But um, it's pretty much uh, the Justice League R rated, um, to say the least. And Black Noir, the hero on the show, he's like this world's uh, Batman. Our next pop, we have Filibuster Leslie from Parks and Recreation. So, Courtney, if you're watching, this one's yours. And she is also... Yep, she is the con sticker as well. 
So yes, I am a die-hard Marvel fan. I love everything Marvel. I do like some things DC. Uh, Green Lantern is one of my favorite heroes. So when I saw this uh, pop come out, I did read Blackest Night and Brightest Day, and they have a White Lantern Sinestro. And in this one, it looks like he's making a construct out of a, um, into a sword, which is awesome. It's so cool. So our next pop is the Kellogg's Sugar Smacks pop. I don't know why I got this guy. I just saw him sitting there. This one is actually the shared sticker. Uh, it's not the con sticker. And I think because I recently got the Lucky Charms cereal box uh, from uh, the Funko shop, I'm like, hey, the Sugar Smack one is there. Let me get that. I don't know why. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Maxi the Seal. Maxi. Maxi the Seal. It's the movie's mascot from Jay and Silent Bob. So I don't know if you guys have watched Clerks or Clerks 2, but in Clerks 2, they work at the movie's restaurant. I like Clerks, I like Clerks 2. So I'm like, that's kind of cool. I figured I'd pick him up just to have him. And the last one from that box, this one I actually wanted a lot. Uh, this is also a shared sticker as well. It's not the um, con sticker. I'm actually pretty disappointed. I just looked at it and the entire side of the box is crushed, but it is the Rocketeer. And there's the box. Funko. Come on, guys. And there's the pop. I really don't understand how they get bent like that. I mean, they're so snug in the box. So it's like, what are they doing? The only thing I could think of is maybe the box was crushed prior and they put it in there. Or this is the last one and they just shoved it in the box. And there you go. They get crushed. The Rocketeer is actually a Disney movie. Really? Yeah. Hmm. We are down to our last three boxes, and these were separate from those. So I'm thinking these are more of like more of the exclusive ones because they're by themselves and they're individually in hard stack. This was a con exclusive. Uh, I think she was limited to 1,500 pieces or 2,000 pieces. I'll find out here in a second. She was limited to 5,000 pieces. The box is in great condition. It is Star Girl from the Justice League. She was limited to five, Galactus was limited to 15, and then there was one more exclusive that was limited, but they didn't release that one. So I'm supposed to be getting another email update in September to possibly get that one as well. This one's gonna be good. Brittany will know why here in a second. Yay! Now we have this one to add to the collection, the White Rabbit. Super cool box is also in pretty good condition. It is a little warped on the side, right there. Not bad though. His colors are pretty cool. Another shared sticker though. Last time I checked on Pop Price Guide, this guy was listed at 165. Woo! For that little pop. Now we have the entire Black Light collection for Alice in Wonderland. So we have those four on the back. And now we have this guy. We are down to our last box. Wow, this was actually, this was a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Where are we putting all of these? <laughs> this is my first Funko soda. You're like shaking it back and forth too. <laughs> Brittany thinks it's a real soda. It's not. It's not a real soda. Oh. <laughs> There's a toy inside of this. <laughs> what Funko does is they do these little sodas and there's little figurines inside of here. This is Thor. He was a limited edition of 15,000 pieces, but there is a chase and it's a black light. Did we get a chase? We didn't get the chase. Because at the bottom of this, even before you open it itself, it tells you right on here, like, you found the chase. But no, we have Thor, one out of 12,500. So we have Thor. So there's collectibles of these two? Yes. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> this is my first one. This will probably be my last one as well. That is going to wrap it up for our Funko Summer Convention unboxing. I'm pretty happy with everything that we got. Obviously, I wanted some more than others. Happy I got one of the con exclusives. I was a little disappointed not getting Galactus. I could always try to get them online and just spend, you know, X amount of dollars to achieve that goal. I was very disappointed with the two boxes, especially the Rocketeer box. It's not cool having a box all crushed like that, especially with the kind of money I spent on this stuff. You know, Funko, you really need to send your boxes in better packaging. I mean, people are investing their hard-earned dollars into stuff like this, and then you get a 
completely crushed box on the side. Come on guys, not cool. Brittany, what did you think of the everything that we got? Well, I love my lounge fly. <laughs> Like I said, I think the only one that I actually knew about was the White Rabbit and everything else was a surprise because you did all the shopping. <laughs> so, but I'm happy with everything. The die cast is really cool. I think that's probably my favorite out of everything. We want to hear from you guys. Did you guys score access to the Funko Summer Convention? Comment below, let us know. What was your favorite part of our haul? What was your favorite pop? Which pop did you like the most? Which pop did you like the least? We want to hear from you. So comment below, let us know. Also, if you are new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, ring that notification bell so you're notified when our family adventures go live. And give this video a big like, because all it does is help support our channel. And always remember, adventure is out there.